Japanese beetles are an invasive species that have been in the eastern and central United States for over a hundred years and are very well established. Rose gardeners hate them because they eat the pretty flower buds, but they will eat any leaf around. They can be especially harmful in orchards. They skeletonize the leaf, eating the tender leaf fibers in between the veins. Then the leaf can't photosynthesize or produce energy. Hi, I'm Amy, author of Kick the Grocery Store Goodbye and a Master Gardener. Welcome to my channel. Today we are talking about organic gardening controls for all stages of the Japanese beetle. Here is the life cycle of the Japanese beetle. Eggs are laid in the soil in summer and take about two weeks to hatch into larvae. They stay larvae for a year and during that time are feeding on the underground roots of your plants. The next spring, the larvae pupate and come out as adults who come above ground to feed on the leaves and stems. Typically, the eggs are just below the surface. The C-shaped larvae will crawl around in your garden or under grass and lawns and orchards. You may have two generations of grubs in your garden. The one in the yellow circle is this year's grub. The one in the red circle is getting ready to change into an adult. So how do we control the grubs? Digging or tilling the soil exposes the beetles to predators. Several bird species, such as crows, cardinals, and catbirds, are known to eat the grubs. Opossums and skunks are also good to have around and love eating the grubs. If you have a young children who love wildlife, I just published my first activity book. It was so much fun to write. All about raccoons with lots of fun facts plus activities to go along with what kids are learning geared towards age seven through nine. I'm a big fan of chicken tractors and you can move them around to areas where you have Japanese beetle problems. They will gobble them up. Another option that some organic farmers use is introducing a specific variety of nematodes into the soil. The nematodes attack the grubs, killing them. I have never used this method and I suggest talking to your extension agent about the effectiveness in your area. You can buy nematodes through online garden catalogs such as Gardener Supply. They are pretty pricey. So in summer, the one-year-old grubs turn into adults and come above ground to feast on leaves. Here they are on a raspberry patch. Plants can emit a chemical into the environment that says, help, I'm in distress and that may attract more Japanese beetles. The simplest method of getting rid of adult bugs is to knock them into a bucket of soapy water. They will drown. You can simply shake the plant or take a kitchen knife and knock them into the soapy water. This is a great activity for kids. Plan on doing this early in the morning when the insects are less active. Unfortunately, this only works for bugs easy to reach. What do we do when they are at the top of our fruit trees? Well, you can climb up a ladder. Or another method that works well on grapes and fruit trees is spraying with kaolin. Kaolin is a clay mineral powder that's used in cosmetics, paints, and toothpaste. It's actually one of the oldest organic pest controls dating back 2000 years to China. This is an orchard of pear trees that have been sprayed with kaolin. The spray creates a protective barrier on the plant surfaces that repel pests. Kaolin spray can reduce insects and diseases on your plants. Surround is one of the bigger organic brands and I will link it below. A thin mesh netting can also be used to protect plants. Japanese beetle traps are very popular and I do not recommend them. Japanese beetles can fly several miles and these hormone-based traps attract them from near and far. Also, the University of Kentucky has proven that more beetles fly towards the traps than are actually caught. 
This results in more damage to your plants than would have happened if no traps were present. You can use the yellow sticky traps, which may catch some, but don't attract them in large numbers. Four o'clock is an annual flower that is often touted as a good companion plant that repels Japanese beetles, although there have not been any conclusive studies. That said, they are pretty flowers, attract butterflies, and are drought tolerant, so beneficial in the garden. Neem oil works fairly well on adults and even better on grubs. Like any other pest, Japanese beetles have bad years and years where they don't bother us much. I hope this video has given you some options for controlling them and preventing damage. Check out my playlist for more organic pest control videos. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and have a fabulous sunny day.